What are you doing? Watching out for snipers. Very funny. <laughs> well, you can imagine my surprise when I get a call from you wanting to arrange a meeting. I made a will, rang my nan, told her I loved her. I see, you haven't changed much. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. I wasn't sure you'd actually turn up. Yeah, I'll admit, I did struggle to come up with a reason as to why she couldn't meet you. I oh, thought of something. Oh, yeah. Dinner's on you. <laughs> come in. You ready? Wait, come in. Close the door. We're not sneaking off without telling her. Uh, yes, we are. I don't think she ever wanted this out in the world, so I totally vote for keeping a lid on it. It's none of our business. If Emma ever wants to tell us, just practice your surprised face. Do you really think she'd be embarrassed? Oh, hey, we were looking in the bathroom bin and we noticed you've got a bun in the oven. OK, it's a good point. We should sleep on it. Either way, this is no place for an ambush, so let's get out of here. Terrible poker face. Hiding from teacher? No, um, I have a cramp. Lady problems. You are terrible at this. Yes, I told you. So. No, it's nothing. Emma's just cranky because the house is in a mess and we just don't want another lecture. Oh, I tell. Are you still on for tonight? Oh, I'm not sure. You were well up for it earlier. There's something I need to do, but I'll let you know. You're welcome to tag along if you want. Oh, I've got loads of hair to wash. Well, anyway, I've got some stuff to do. So you've got some time to think. I'll give you a bell. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, come on. Hi. Oh, oh hi. hi. Problem? No. Oh, good. Right, well, let's go then, shall we? Touche. <laughs> you know, I came here for my 10th birthday. Ed Warner got his hand caught in the ice cream machine and they had to call the fire brigade to get him out. <laughs> Come back here every year soon. Well, nearly. They do the best milkshakes. That sounds delightful. Well, if I'd have let you choose the restaurant, you might have gone to the loo and come back with a gun. <laughs> you know, like in The Godfather. I know. So, back in Netherbridge. Yeah, just a flying visit. Visiting the folks. Mum, Dad, Nan and the dog. And of course, wanted to check out the fine local cuisine. Of course. No work? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm on downtime. Come back from Hereford to uh, think over the offers that I've had. And? Oh, it's, it's not easy, you know. There's some pretty fancy contracts being waved about. I thought I'd just uh, bask in the attention for a day or two. It's nice to be wanted. Good for you. I mean it. Well done. Thanks. Now, anyway, I'm going to save you the bother of deliberating. And the sooner you accept, the sooner we can get out of here. Except for an offer you can't refuse. A job at the mill. Funny, I was just about to say the same thing. Oh, I don't suppose I left a hoodie here. <laughs> I seem to remember clothes got thrown about a bit while we were in the... Hi. Look at it this way. Howard, for all of his quirks, is an excellent practice manager, which counts for a lot. You'll be based in Leatherbridge, so you'll be close to family, and and your preferred eating establishments. <laughs> it's peanut butter, banana, and then cookie dough. <laughs> You're missing out. I'm fine. Sid, the <laughs> mill's a good practice. It's a great one. You've already built up a rapport with the patients, so it'll be second nature. OK, look, it's not without its drawbacks, but better the devil you know, surely. And speaking from experience, in the grand scheme of things, it can be a lot worse out there. 
So why not say yes and then we can get out of here? No. Good to see you both. Take care. Don't let me interrupt. This is a very compelling book, really. Mm, people always think the Victorians are so prudish. Chapter 12, The Matador and the Maid. Exactly. Now, if you're just here to read 19th century erotica... Good. I put the kettle on. I was thinking over tea that you might explain what the hell you're doing here. Ah, you've tied it. Just a bit. Mm, was it so bad? Piece of cake. Right. Did you break something? Is that it? What? Neve, I have experience as a doctor, a police surgeon, and the mother of a young boy. And I have a nose for trouble. So come on, out with it. We know. I thought we weren't going to say anything. Well, you were just making it worse. I told you I wasn't good at this. There's a difference between not good and dead crap. No. what? We know that you're pregnant. So this really isn't a ploy just to see me again. You don't do this with everyone. Genuinely forgot it. The hoodie I can kind of understand, but how I made it home without my headphones, I'll never know. Hmm. You also forgot your watch. But then you did have that really important meeting to get to. It's the truth. I had to do a thing yeah. for a friend. OK, so I did a runner, but it was a force of habit. I actually forgot it was even Sunday morning. Would have appreciated the lie-in with or without the company. It's fine to admit it. We're both grown-ups. Chips pass in the night and in the morning have sailed on. Yeah, but I was totally planning on seeing you again. Would have played it a bit more cool, but it's my lucky hoodie. Of course. Honestly, I thought that you and I had... you know... Mm. So, what's my name? <laughs> Now you know how I feel about the mill. You're being a bit melodramatic, don't you think? I think that I might just remember it a little bit differently from you, that's all. I mean, I didn't exactly have the best time, did I? All right, fair enough. Howard was a decent boss. And Al's a good laugh, and I even kind of miss Karen's sexy voice. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no. I mean, I, I think it's that huskiness. I mean, you put that voice on any woman, like Mary Lafostrop, okay. she's got... Where is this going? My point is, um, some of the gang went out of their way to make me feel welcome, but uh, some of the others... Look, surviving a shark attack is one thing, but to then jump back in the water, <laughs> that's just braver or stupider than I'm willing to get. Sorry. I'm sorry if you still bear a grudge. And I understand you have a right to. Every right to. But the good news is that you won't even have to see me. I'm going to be on sabbatical, so the place will be shark-free. So Jimmy's gone too, has he? Ah. That's what I thought. So you tied it to soften the blow? No, we were tied in anyway. That's when we found it. And I thought it was knees. I thought it was Aisha's. And we both thought the other was, well, you know. We weren't snooping. It was just right there in the bin. Does anyone else know? Oh, definitely not. Just us two. You. And the dad. You do know who the dad is? Of course I know. We all know. Howard. You haven't told him. Something short, isn't it? Uh, Daphne, Daisy, no, too cute. Oh, thanks. No, yours was something cooler, wasn't it? Something sharp. You're fishing. Ah, maybe I put you in my phone. Maybe. Oi! <laughs> Dancer with the legs. Freckles La Frenchy, Scottish Bangs. Bangs is in the haircut. Of course. Not big on names, are you? All right, then. If you're so smart, who am I? Your name is Hayden. You're a nurse. Uh, you jumped out of a plane on your 21st birthday. 
You claim that the scar on your thigh is from a crocodile someone had in a bar in Thailand. Oh, man. Mm. You don't like avocados. Uh, you once pretended to be Leonardo DiCaprio's bodyguard. <laughs> uh, and you can hold your breath for three minutes and 30 seconds. Please tell me I showed you my crocodile scar here and not at the bar. Such a shame you can't remember. See, I don't even think that you told me your name, you know? I think we were well past introductions long before we even held a cab. Maybe you're right. But we definitely talked about work, right? I take it you were paying attention for that. Sure, sure. Good. Then this should be easy. You tell me what I do for a living and I'll let you have your hoodie back. Oh, Budanesca or Arabiata? Oh, Arabiata. Wasn't asking you. Arabiata is fine. Means angry, doesn't it? Angry sauce. Putanesca mean grumpy or bashful? Whore. It translates as whore's pasta, basically. <laughs> well, you did ask. I'm sorry. Oh, this whole thing is such a mess. One minute I'm menopausal and then the next and... It's not like I haven't been through this before. But if you weren't trying, then... I know! I know! It's just the timing of my periods with... Well, clearly I'm a terrible doctor. Why didn't I think? Hey, we're doctors from nine to six. The rest of the time we're only human. I'm going to get a safe sex pamphlet and staple it to my head. Your secret is safe with us. Oh, really? Carol will guess in no time. And before I know it, it will be all over Leatherbridge. And then it will be pitying looks from Mrs Tempe until full term. Oh, they'll be jealous. What of? Swollen ankles, varicose veins, getting a seat on the bus. That you'll be glowing. I'm going to have to buy an entire new wardrobe of elasticated waists. Oh, come on. Let's just crack out the wine. Coffee? I don't think he'll hold that against you. And if you had strong words with Jimmy, then the mill must have brought something out in you. You must have learned something. And isn't that the whole point? I learned that you found me annoying. I learned that on pretty much the first day, and then I kept learning it until I left. Everyone's fighting their own battles. You should know that as a doctor. Jimmy has his way of coping, and you'll find your way. These other practices that have made you offers, are they ones that you've worked at already? The last one made me an offer. Pretty tasty one, too. Well done. I mean, it's not perfect there, I mean, there's some uh, big communication problems. No one really talks to one another. How is that any better than the mill? Simple. They treat me like a doctor. Maybe you felt more like a doctor because you'd earned it at the mill. Or maybe the next lot just didn't look down their noses at me. You aren't all like that. You acted like I was incompetent. If I thought you were incompetent, would I be offering you this job? Maybe. Might be desperate for the cover. And then, if the rest of them think the same, that I got the job through the back door, well, how would I know that I didn't? Well, surely that's up to you. How can I possibly affect any of that? I want an interview. Careful. You want to make a habit out of it. Oh, it's all changed now. We're all in this together. We're all here for you. It's like three men and a baby. Only, not men. What's that? You know the film with the Magnum fella and your man from Cheers and the other guy? I have no idea what any of that is. See? I mean, what am I going to talk to this one about? It was bad enough when Chris was little. Once he got upset because I got him action man instead of an action force. I have no idea what kids are into now. Minecraft. Minecraft. Never heard of it. This is hopeless. Speaking of boys, aren't you meant to be meeting Hayden? Oh, yeah, but I'll just bin him off. No, go. Anyway, I don't want people thinking there's something wrong. Sorry, is, is that paranoid of me? If you're sure. Yes. Anyway, it's not the first time I've been upset over a pregnancy test. Well, it'll take me a bit to get ready, so if you change your mind. Anyway, after you two, maybe a baby will be a walk in the park. <laughs> None of this will be on record, you understand. It's not like Howard or anyone will think a few questions over a fajita will count as credentials. Yeah, but I'll know. I want to be able to say uh, this right. Fine. Okay. 
a USB stick containing patient information has gone missing from your desk. So what do you do about it? Well, first of all, it shouldn't be on a USB full stop. But if it was, and I'm sure I hadn't just misplaced it, and first I'd do my best to establish what was on it, and then I'd notify the practice manager, the partners, and the patient, and the cold cut guardian. And then, of course, um, make sure that it never happens again. Textbook. Keep going. Let's say nine o'clock then. Cool. Speak to you later. I take it you know her name. Oh, yes. Yeah. But we're not like that. I wonder whose decision that was. If you really think I'm that bad, then what does that say about you, huh? You took me home, remember? I don't know, maybe I'm just jealous that you bothered to remember something about this girl. Well, I'm learning now, aren't I? If you must know, I kind of wish I'd paid a bit more attention the first time round. Yeah. You might want to think about how wasted you get. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I would have approached you otherwise, but... <laughs> so you say. You know they say it's there to either raise a man's confidence or lower his standards, and I'm pretty sure you know where you fall on that one. I don't know. You seemed pretty confident. <laughs> Still don't know your name or your job. Take another guess. OK, so there's the observation thing. Attention to detail. You keep fit. And there was a book on law in your bathroom too. You don't like to give very much away, and I really hope you don't mind me saying this, but there seems to be a bit of a cold edge to you. <laughs> You're not police, are you? What rank? <laughs> Your face! Cruel. Very cruel. <laughs> Anyone would think you were in trouble. No. No, of course not. I just want to be sure I don't end up in an arm lock or something if I get any closer. Only one way to find out. Well, that's about all I can think of. Well done, Dr. Veer. You well know done. your stuff. Isn't there usually a bit where the panel asks if I have any questions? Do you? Just one. Do you think I'm a good doctor? No. Not yet. You're a very fine doctor, Sid, but to become a good doctor will require a lot of work. I have every confidence that you can do it, but it really does need to come from you. Okay. Thank you, Zara. So, are you going to take the job? Yeah. And when can you start? Tomorrow. You were always going to say yes, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for dinner, Dr. Carmichael. <laughs> Guess I'll see you around. And have the bill, please. Quickly. Isn't this the part where you make your excuses and leave? I've really enjoyed this. <laughs> I should hope so. No, I mean... <laughs> I guess I mean meeting you sober. You should try it more often. It's been really nice getting to know you. I've got it. I know what you do. Go on. Marriage guidance counsellor. Oh, well done! <laughs> I guess this means I should give you back your clothes. Any good? Oh, you should put on a movie or something. Blob out properly. Blob out? Oh, you know what I mean, just unwind. What's the point of sitting around and eating ice cream if you're not going to watch Grease or Dirty Dancing or something? Maybe not, eh? Grease is a pregnancy scare subplot. Rizzo? Dirty Dancing, then. That's worse. The whole subplot is about... his dance partner? What's her name's dad? Operates on her after the abortion. Oh, right. Sorry. It's fine. I'm sure I've got something. It's probably not what you want to be thinking about right now. Too late. 
Termination? Maybe. You know, just deal with it discreetly. And not tell Harold at all? It is none of my business, and it is entirely your decision. But is there really any problem with telling him? It's so much more complicated than you know. This couldn't have happened at a worse time, to be honest. What about Alien? <laughs> Watch. <laughs> Everything except your name. Too bad. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> well, if I don't leave with your name, then at least your number? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Nothing against you. I'm so glad you came back, but I don't really do relationships. Do your clients know that? <laughs> no. I think the job's part of it. I think I've seen so many people start out well and end up toxic. Just. It's not for me. Now who's running? Yeah, perhaps. Well, it was nice to meet you properly. Thanks. One last word of advice. Just take it easy, home. <laughs> See you around. Come on, here you go. One of these to get you on your feet. I can have a sensible one tonight, OK? No, no way. Come on, you're meant to be my wingman. I'm sorry, it's all drama at home. Don't want to be out too late. You're turning into one of them. You, Emma and me, you've all in bed by 10 o'clock with a glass of hot milk and matching pyjamas. Oi, I just don't want to have a messy one, OK? A couple of cocktails and a giggle. Deal? Deal. Hi, yeah. Good day. Mission accomplished. Really? That's it, though. Oh, did you dare doubt me? Never. Although I don't know how we're going to cope without you, to be honest. Heston and Emma will vie to be the most sophisticated. Al will think that he's the smartest. Karen and Mrs Tember will be just so pleased to see the back of me and you'll all be begging me to come back before the end of November. I'm not sure we'll last that long. <laughs> I admit I am a very tough act to follow. But with a bit of luck... And a lot of hard work, you lot might just be able to fill my rather marvellous shoes. Speaking of which... Hello. What do you think? That I love you. Right answer. Mm. Mine. Oh, I might order one myself, actually. Someone's got to get the party started. So I've been a real downer, aren't I? No worries. The night is young. Cheers. Cheers. Do you fancy it, then? A bit of alien? I fancy an early night, to be honest. Sorry, it's not very rock and roll, is it? You should have gone out with it, Aisha. No, you're all right. It'll hate me, won't it? When I'm old and out of touch, it'll... <sighs> hate calling it it. It just makes it all worse. Well, why don't you call her baby? Like, what's your name in the film? You know, nobody puts baby in the corner. Her? Do you think it's a girl? Oh, it's... I'm sorry. I do that. Him, her, whatever... I didn't mean to personalise it. It's fine. Maybe it is a girl. Neve. Yeah? Would you keep it? I've been thinking about that all evening. I've mostly been grateful that I could actually make that choice. As a doctor, 
I would talk through all the options with you, but let you decide. But as a friend? As a friend, I will support you in whatever you choose to do. But you have to tell Howard. Just going by what happened with Jimmy and Heather, you know. Honesty is the best policy, as hard as that sounds. Sorry. Don't be. You're right. I have to tell him. Hey, it will all be fine. Promise. Ha! Love it. That's going up. You better like it. I already do. Oh, I love you. Easy time, huh? No, seriously. You make sure I get out. Have fun. Just needed to take the edge off, you know? Just doing my bit. Anyway, come on. I'm done here. You don't want one more? No, I want five more at least, but somewhere I can dance. I didn't get dressed up for nothing. Come on. Where next? I want loud, really loud. Hurry up. Let's go. OK, all right, we're coming. I assume you are running late, Nursley? Oh, turn it down, please, Mrs. Tenby. Don't shout at me. I'm being kidnapped. Help me, help me, please, help me. Sid. I'm still pinching myself. I can't believe it. <laughs> Howard, can I have a word? Jonathan! Jonathan! Please take me home. What's a wedding without a hitch? Drama.